The Mario Kart series has tons of controversial power-ups. Some are really terrible, and some absolutely break the game. In this video, we're going to be going over all of the most overpowered power-ups in Mario Kart history. With that being said, let's get right into it. So first up on the list, I want to go over the Lucky 7 and the Crazy 8. The reason why I'm putting both of these on the same spot is because the Lucky 7 and the Crazy 8 are pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, Crazy 8 gets one more item, so I guess you could say the Crazy 8 is the better of the two. But for basically being able to spam every single item in the whole game at once, I'd say the Lucky 7 and the Crazy 8 definitely deserve a place on this list. Now, next up on the list, I'm going to be talking about the Golden Mushroom. So the reason the Gold Mushroom is as broken as it is, is because the Gold Mushroom is a glorified comeback mechanic. What's better than one mushroom? Triple Mushroom. What's better than a Triple Mushroom? Infinite Mushroom. Yeah, it's not hard to see why the Golden Mushroom is as broken as it is, is you can intentionally stay in last place, get a gold mushroom, and then pass everybody. And for being pretty much the best item in the game to sandbag with, and making the gameplay really trivial, the golden mushroom gets its spot on the list. Now this one is going to rub people the wrong way. Next up on the list, we have the thundercloud. Now what's really bad about the thundercloud is it's pretty much a hot potato mechanic. Now what the thundercloud does is it appears over the holder's head and they got a constant boost of speed. They will not lose any speed when on off-road terrain, Though after about 10 seconds, they get struck by lightning. So I feel like the reasons that you'd want to hold on to this item are not really substantial. And what ends up happening is you just want to get rid of it. You're not actually focused on driving. You're more focused on actually bumping into other people just to get rid of this item, which is pretty busted in my opinion. But feel free to argue with me in the comment section down below. And next up on the list, we're going to be talking about the triple red shell. Now what's really broken about the triple red shell is because I feel like not not a lot of people talk about how busted the original red shell item actually is. Now what the addition of the red shell did was it basically made aiming your items practically pointless. Like to me I feel like the red shell is a very mindless item to use and it hardly ever misses. So when you have an item that has not only one red shell but three red shells it starts to become apparent why the triple red shell is a triple threat. And the triple red shell actually has many use cases. You could use the triple red shell on three enemies, or you could use the triple red shell on whoever's in first place and knock them back into second place. For that, I'd say the triple red shell is probably among one of the best items in Mario Kart history. Now, you know I absolutely love Mario Kart Wii, but Mario Kart Wii probably has one of the most busted item pools in Mario Kart history, because the item we're going to be talking about next on this list is the Mega Mushroom. Now, the Mega Mushroom is a cardinal terror. The Mega Mushroom is pretty much the star power up but better. At this size, most small arms items such as red shells or bob bombs or course obstacles like the vehicles on Moonview Highway, Moo Moo's on Moo Moo Meadows will absolutely have no effect on you. In fact, even if lightning or a thundercloud strikes, your racer will only shrink down to normal size. Bullet bills, star mans, and falling off the ledge are the only weaknesses of the mega mushroom. Oh, and did I mention it gets even worse? Probably the best attribute of the Mega Mushroom is the ability to flatten any drivers that you catch up to. Instead of just knocking them over with a star, the giant shroom will drive right over enemy racers, crushing them down like a thwomp or a dinosaur from Dino Dino Jungle. Although the effect isn't as long as thwomps or the dinosaur, it still tremendously stops their acceleration and caps their top speed for a long time. But did I mention, it gets even worse. If no enemy items or opponents are in sight, the giant mushroom still comes in handy because it grants a massive amount of speed, about equal to a star, and off-road sections of the course can be traversed without even slowing down. Just be careful when taking shortcuts because it can be difficult to know when the effect will wear off. But for all of the ironically massive reasons that I just gave you, the Mega Mushroom deserves a place on this list. And speaking of massive, next up on the list we're going to be talking about the Bowser Shell. Now the Bowser Shell is actually exclusive to Double Dash on the GameCube, and in Double Dash, only Bowser and Bowser Jr. were able to receive this item, not including PD Piranha and King Boo, as they can receive any special item. It's similar to a green shell in that when it's released, it will bounce around the track. However, what makes the Bowser shell unique is that after hitting an enemy, it doesn't disappear, meaning that it will keep bouncing around the track and hitting people. The item was originally going to reappear in Mario Kart DS, but it was scrapped before the game released because it was likely too powerful. It later returned in Mario 
Kart Tour. However, the coin box is the most overpowered Mario Kart power-up in history. Yep, I said it. The coin box. Now, if you've never played Mario Kart Tour, you're probably wondering why I'm calling the coin box one of the most overpowered power-ups in Mario history. The reason for that is because Mario Kart Tour actually isn't about winning. Mario Kart Tour is about getting a good high score. And the way that you build up combos to get these high scores in Mario Kart Tour is primarily collecting coins and hitting other drivers. And what does this item do? It gives you a bunch of coins. In fact, this item gives you so many coins that I feel like it breaks the game. And if you play Mario Kart Tour, there's barely any reason to use any character that doesn't have the coin box special. And for that reason, I say the coin box deserves its place on this list. And if you disagree with that choice, you can cash me outside because you're literally wrong. And feel free to check out my video on screen right now. It's about all of the most underrated power-ups in Mario history. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.